Hello, this is Sir David the Bard and other titles which I will not mention. Uh, I wanted to do another video on um, I, I can't tell you is it weenie out of the panties or weenie out of the pants or vaginas out of the panties. I can't tell on this story. It appears to be both. So let's take a look here. All right, this is happening here. It's being reported in the uh, Channel 4 uh, news. Uh, December 7th, 2012, 1.42 p.m., and it says, Price, couple, roommate arrested for child sex abuse. Now, this is the middle of no place, folks. Let me tell you, if you've been in Price, Utah, <laughs> there's no reason to go anywhere else. There is no, the moon, maybe Mars, you know, you might see a, a lander uh, robot there, but there's nothing in Price, Utah, believe me. A couple and their roommate are behind bars after police arrested them for sexually molesting several young children. Amanda and Tim Romano are accused of sexually molesting several children, many of whom they babysat. You know, I've told my 14-year-old when she babysits, I don't even care if it's for relatives. She's not safe. Be prepared to, to defend herself. Please say that uh, Tyler Barney, who also lived with the cu uh, couple, is accused of molesting children, too. So, I guess two weenies, one vagina. Is it a weenie out of the pants, or is it a vagina out of the uh, panties? Maybe what it is is just... <laughs> I can't say that here. In construction, we had a, a saying called a, a cluster F. I think that's what this is here. When you see something that allegedly is deviant like this, it's very disturbing, said the police department. <laughs> yeah. Especially in Price, there's only three people that live there. Barnes said that Romano couple is from Florida, and they also lived in West Valley, that's Salt Lake City, Hurricane, which is down there in the um, St. George area, and Price, <laughs> which is the middle of nowhere. He says they are also being investigated for similar crimes by the police agencies in some of those other areas. So these are roaming, roaming Mormons, I don't know. Roaming child molesters, I don't know. The trio lived in an apartment at uh, 1600 E 300 South at a complex, uh, and many of their neighbors suspected something was wrong. Now see, this is always funny. This is always funny. Is after something happens, after it's out in the open, then you get these old biddies that go, see? I knew there was the I knew the Holy Ghost, the Spirit was done. <laughs> Jesus. They're just old biddies. They didn't know anything was going on or they would have come forward. Come on. Uh, this uh, Amanda, after police interviewed her, um, uh, she said she didn't do anything. She didn't do anything, Flowers says. Well, everybody I've ever met in prison seems to have that same story. We certainly convict a lot of innocent people. Neighbors claim a young victim the couple befriended tried to get other children to come to the couple's house. I would just see a lot of children playing outside, and she would always invite the other girls over to the home. Well, th there's a criminal activity, right? See, I knew, I knew. Yeah, but they let their kids go anyway. They don't check the parents out. Anytime I let my kids uh, go to anybody's house, I always talk to a parent. And I tell them what my rules are and, uh, you know, obey my rules or my kid won't be here again. And uh, I guess these parents were not checking who these people were. Uh, they were friends, but I never let my child go over there, said one lady. Police said the victims were as young as two years old and the oldest being 15. Wow, pretty sad. I'm a mom and that's pretty sad, said one of the women. Uh, police say the children are undergoing counseling but have a long road in front of them. That's certainly true. Uh, uh, Carol Flowers agrees with that. She knows from first-hand experience. Now, here's the expert, okay? Again, I have many videos that say very clearly women do not recover from rape uh, and molestation. And many times boys don't recover. But... Here's, here's the expert. She jumps out. She says, I'm 63 years old, and I'm still having nightmares that she was molested. What's unusual about this case is that Amanda Romeo, or Romero, was the one facing the most charges. It's the mother. <laughs> so maybe I'll classify this one as the, the vagina out of the, uh, the panties. I, I guess the weenies didn't get as much attention. So anyway, here we are, Price, Utah. 
Mormons, I'm sure. There's no one in Price that's not a Mormon. Believe me, Brigham Young sent people to settle Price. No one wanted to go. And the people that are there still don't want to be there. It's 120 degrees every day, except sometimes in the winter at night it freezes, and then it goes to 120. So anyway, another vagina out of the panties in Price, Utah. More children in the Mormon state with Mormons who are not stopping this. They're not paying attention to it. They just look the other way. Welcome to Utah.